Uh, that can make it easier, but two Haunted Creepers? That's just unfair. It, it certainly is a, an interesting position for them. And University of Washington, I think at this point, to them that signals, that redemption anyway, signals that they want to go for the Secret Keeper instead. Hmm. Maybe looking forward to a Let divine favor turn think. earlier than usual. I'll never or maybe tell. just looking for the extra power. I mean, Simon Fraser with just the armor up hasn't really given them a ton of information at this point. And so maybe they just feel like they need to put the pedal to the metal. Yeah. The pedal to the metal. And if you're in Simon Fraser's spot, it does look a little peculiar. Your opponent has gone secret keeper and then a secret afterwards. You know, I think at this point you're kind of expecting the secret keeper to stick around. Yeah, I think you're expecting... I would have been expecting Avenge, Avenge, to be honest. And I think Simon Fraser realizes they can deal with anything. Yeah, I agree. It's going to cost them damage, but I think it's the one thing they can afford to lose at this point is, mm -hmm. is damage. Or, I'm sorry, is health, rather. They can afford to take the damage at this point and not really think too much of it. The second Avenge and the Haunted Creeper, I, I mean, I got to feel like that's really the, mm. the best direction to take this. You'll have, you know, this will force your opponent to really try to start death biting stuff down. You're going to get in a pretty significant amount of damage in the meantime, and maybe afterwards you can reload with Buster for Battle and Divine Favor. Yeah, and the thing about Secret Paladin is what you're trying to do is make your opponent have to use the most removal possible and the most resources oh, possible to try and remove your annoying creatures in the early game, like Haunted Creeper, Secret Keeper, um, Shield of Minibot, in order to make way for those huge drops that you draw turn six turn seven turn eight in the mysterious challenger dr boom and Tyrion, because then a lot of times they just are out of resources to be able to deal with those things and you just run away with the game so really th taking their time and thinking about it though Reporting to duty. pretty surprised by this i mean there's a chance i think that maybe they just don't want their secret keeper to get attacked and so that's why they're holding on the avenger but just trying to be a little bit more mana efficient with kind of the clunky cards that are in their hand. But Simon Fraser, either way, they have plenty of tools if they want to start fighting against this board state. But what's the best way to do it? I mean, they're going to just override their fire. War Axe, you know, on a board like this, it looks like you want to get your Death Spite set up. So I think that's a totally reasonable play. But again, they're suffering a lot of damage from this. And that's really what University of Washington is looking for. The problem is that Death Spite really sets you up in just such a bad way. <laughs> oh my god, this is... God. It's so satisfying. To see all these one ones on the board when you're when you have a death bite equipped. It yeah. makes you, what are you gonna do as University of Washington? Yeah, you can play Powder Shredder, but your whole board dies and they Let can test the Powder Shredder. You can play Avenge, but Avenge doesn't really do anything because it well, I guess you could buff no <laughs> it buffs the Secret Keeper, but then they attack into the Secret Keeper and don't buff anything. They'd have to play Avenge plus Haunted Creeper in order to get any benefit from that. Which I actually kind of like that play. You know, and mm. my instinct tells me Pilot and Shredder just attack. You know, you get 11 points of damage out of them attacking your Pilot Shredder with a Death Spite. Uh, the Pilot Shredder Minion goes undamaged, so really Sludge Belcher is going to be the only thing that contests it um, from a single card perspective. But Haunted Creeper Revenge also is presenting a bit of a problem. Simon Fraser doesn't have necessarily a super clean way to kill this. They're going to have to have something extra from their hand. We can see that they happen to have something extra from their hand. But University of Washington can't know that. They have to give themselves just the best chance to disrupt what Simon Fraser is doing. And so I actually like that they've gone with this line. Um, and it still gives them more options for later turns. So this is probably their best maneuver if they want to make that big push. Which, given their deck, it's kind of what they're dedicated to. Yeah. And Simon Fraser picks up a card that will be crucial if the game uh, becomes very grindy. But they're just a card too hard. The hard part against Secret Paladin is going to be finding a turn to play it well, safely. That was... That was, um, I'm not sure how the Death Rattle and Avenge Triggers work, but that was the worst target for them. I think it had to target that. Well, if the Death Rattle hadn't happened yet, visually. So can that Avenge still land on one of the 1-1s? One I don't think so. That's a good question to ask. Either way, Simon Fraser is not going to go for Execute in this spot. They are just going to play the pilot. I'm sorry, the Sludge Butcher to contest the effective pilot center on board. Yeah, you need that execute for later on in the game. Haunted Creeper, while it's a threat, it's not a big enough threat to utilize removal on. Simon Fraser realizes that they're going to need to play the long game, wow. that Secret Paladin is not about running out of resources. Look at this hand from Simon Fraser. I mean, they, they do have to get rid of as many cards basically as they can before Divine Favor hits. Um, but with a hand like this, they don't really have an option. 
But what they do have is a lot of power in their hand. This is this hand is getting scarier and scarier for University of Washington. The benefit is that they have Simon Fraser down to 15 health. Maybe they can close this game from this spot. But this is still quite a bit of work that needs to be done. You know, Simon Fraser is getting to that point where they can start amassing a lot of armor, a lot of threats, and really close you out of the game. Yeah. And being able to play Dr. Boom plus like a cool Taskmaster or just a car Trueheart uh, plus get the armor effect immediately. Pretty big deals. If that Emperor Thorsan lives for a second turn, which it most likely will, I can't imagine University of Washington is going to trade into that. Actually. No, I don't think they're going to trade even given the attack. I think this this damage is pointed to the face and you add Pilot Shredder and Shield and Minibot. Put Simon Fraser to the test to make them have the right answers to your cards. Nope. They're going to go for a defensive stance, though, and Snow Chucker. The collegiate teams really like their defense uh, in this series so far. And so Simon Fraser, this may have been kind of the recovery spot for them. And a Shield Maiden. That's a nice, another great recovery card. Uh, but this turn is a little bit awkward. I mean, yeah, you can play like Justicar Car True Heart and get that armor effect immediately, but that gets traded into so quickly. Dr. Boom, you flow to mana. And mana is pretty crucial at this point in the game so because you want to be able choices. to, you know, play the most cards, get the most power on the board immediately. Cool Taskmaster, they can execute something if they wanted to, but none of these cards maybe the Snow Tucker, but I think just Dr. Boom looks like it's going to be the play. I, I think I like to execute this spot simply for the sake of... Tempo? Of Well, not only Tempo, but again, the Divine Favor is such a key card in this matchup. If you give the Paladin five cards from that, you are in a world of hurt. Not only that, but again, you get the extra minion on board, which can help fight against this. And so even though the Execute can contest Mysterious Challenger quite well, given the board state, with the big game hunter in your hand, you can still contest it fairly well. And so this kind of hedges your bets against everything. And when you can do that, that's pretty much one of the best plays you can make. Yeah, and look at the amount of armor gain that Simon Fraser University has. They can uh, Shield Maiden armor up next turn for seven armor gain. Then on turn nine, they can armor up mm. just a car two heart, armor up again. Tank up. Tank up. That. But for another six armor gain. But University of Washington is drawing three cards here. Yeah, but. <laughs> that Blessing of Kings, maybe a little bit of extra push here. All right, this damage, I mean, they, they only have one place to go. This damage yeah, has to start going me. to the base. And they have to start ending it right now because if it goes on too long, they are not going to win. To the face! It's the place. It's a happy little face. Is it though? It's a Magni. <laughs> Dwarves are never happy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can see. I can see the damage. You know, trying to trim the board position. You know, hoping for the best from that. You have plenty of life to pay. The you don't want the you don't want the minibots attacking into your one ones and then really trading your board off well. And Simon Fraser even picks up a Sludge Belcher. This is looking. I mean, it's awfully close right now, but it's looking like Simon Fraser may have turned the corner. Yeah. They just need to get all of these creatures out of their hand. Well, there's the Divine Shields down, so uh, that's pretty good for the uh, Blessing of Kings. It's basically just going to be, you know, four burst damage, which isn't that much considering. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Disaster has struck for University of Washington, potentially. Simon Fraser cannot capitalize on this Unstable Ghoul right away, though. Now the question is, do they... I think you just go with the original plan. Play on curve. Yeah, I agree with you, too. Shield made an armor up. You go up to, what, Maybe 16 armor? That's a pretty good amount of effective health, considering your opponent only has five power on board, plus three cards in hand. There he is. Well, he's... He may be none of your business, but it, this is looking like an awfully difficult position for University of Washington, because... That big game hunter is going to be able to ensure <laughs> that Avenge goes on to that mysterious challenger. Yeah. And, you know, that's just not the spot they want to be in right now. Well, actually, if they clear off the Dr. Boom, this shield main attack is going to be eaten up by a noble sacrifice. So the Avenge could go on to an unstable ghoul. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing they could do is they could try to hedge their bets against this, which I think is probably their best play. But... Uh, even with the Mysterious Challenger, what Simon Fraser could do next turn is just armor up, just a car, tank up, hold the attack. Who am I? None of your business. And try and just, you know, out attrition. So there's, there is the full suite of secrets to this one. 
Uh, that redemption is playable at the moment. So there's the fifth secret. Is this going to be enough for University of Washington to continue their push? Job done. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at the amount of effective health that Simon Fraser can get, and I don't know if it's there right now. A weapon pickup is not bad. Pretty critical. But the Avenge has to go on the Mysterious Challenger, or this could get rough. Get we'll see. Actually, would have liked the attack with the shield man first to save face health, face damage, but oh no! Well, this oh, is no, why yeah, yeah, that's, that's why we attack. Yeah, yeah, because of this position. Either way, it's still looking pretty brutal for University of Washington. You know, they have to fight through the Justicar health, and I, I'm not sure they can do that right now. All right, so competitive spirit is still up, so that would be a seven-six next turn. So. Justicar True Heart would challenge it. They need four more points of damage. But I guess they're just going to BGH it most likely anyway. Yeah. I think getting the Justicar True Heart out now is just too too hard to pass up. You know, starting to get that extra. And then they also know the Repentance is there. That's so true, yeah. So playing yeah. the Sludge Vulture into it can just be strictly a liability. University of Washington does have some outs here, though. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You know, a two or three damage spell would have ended this. Consecration, Truth Silver Champion, another Blessing of Kings. You know, they had some ways to still win this game. You know, they actually did a lot more than that. Their position, you know, they feel like it looks pretty good for them, but I can promise you this is this is dire straits at the moment. Yeah, especially since they know that Simon Frederick is going to be getting four health a turn. The Blessing and King's the Secret Keeper. Well, no, there's not really a point. It's already vulnerable to, well, I guess maybe to play against second execute. Reporting for duty. Maybe you want to save that Blessing and King's to not put all your eggs in one basket. That's what I think, too. I think they're just going to push for seven and hope the Blessing and King's can carry them. No, if you, here's the thing. If your opponent doesn't kill a Mysterious Challenger, you, ha you have the game basically one next turn anyway. Yeah. Um, if, they, if you do cast the Blessing King's now and they have a way to answer it, I mean, you pretty much... The rest of your push is gone. Oh, wonder. Here it comes. They're going for it. 11 damage is going to set Simon Fraser to 5. But I still think it's comfortable for them. They even pick up a shield block. Wow. I mean, this is this is disaster now for University of Washington. They have a 1-2, a 1-1, and another 1-1. The 1-2 is dying, and they have to face a Sludge Belcher and 4 extra life a turn. And next turn is going to be nine extra life. Yeah, I think Simon Fraser just turned the corner and has completely locked this game up. Yeah. Blessing of Kings does allow them to contest this Belcher, but... What about the second half? Yeah. And, you know, in, in this sort of battle where it gets really late in the game, Paladin does have an innate advantage just because of the 1-1. One -one. Those can get really tough to deal with, especially if you're floating on low amounts of health and not very many resources. Well, Alex Straza. <laughs> Nice of you to join us. Yikes. An extra 11 health, usually pretty good, but I think the 8-8 eight, eight body is the more relevant point of this card right now. Yeah. That could have been a war golem, and I think this day would have been totally fine with it at this point. Yeah. Reporting for duty. yeah they pick up the juggle, but it's, you know, I don't think the gas is in the tank at this point. Simon Bridge doesn't even have to take care of the knife juggler. They can just start pushing. Add a bash to it. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I think you got one place to go. Just, a, Alex just a casual game, hey! game 12 armor turn. And then nine armor again the next turn. They're going to be back at 30 health when this game ends. <laughs> it's very likely. That just bash. I, can take the hit. Uh, I guess they're sitting up for lethal next turn. Yeah. Even going to attack the knife juggler. Super safe play from Simon Fraser. <laughs> they want to lock this one up and throw away the key. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like Gavin was... Or, I think that's Raider. Yeah, that's Raider, sorry, on the far Raise right. Gavin? Yeah, Gavin's on the left. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen these guys, so we're still getting used to their faces. Last week was just the Jordude, or two 13, weeks ago was just the Jordude. 16, 16 damage available. Pretty darn good, but I think I, I think Simon Fraser just had this one locked up for <laughs> centuries, it feels like, at this oh, point. Oh, jeez, look at this. They're going to they're gonna end this game at 33 health. They were down to four at one point. They were down to four, and now they're at 33. Justicar Trueheart, Alex Straza will change the game.